Hello! Today we're doing a video that's not as boring, <laughs> as fracking, but... Or as meaty, say. Okay, it's, all right, all right. As interesting. It lets us take a journey into the new age, okay? okay. Yes. Where humans and alien life forms may commingle in peace and harmony on, on the planet, okay? <laughs> and I have my planetary new age guide here, Pookie vital finds, whatever, uh -huh. who's going to help me through this. Okay. So, anyway, Pookie, you want to tell people about your dolphin swimming experience in Kona, Hawaii, and what that meant to you. Well, I've done a couple of videos on it, and um, it was, uh, you know, it was something that basically you just have to experience. Um, so, um well, okay, that's a very short summary, but leading, leading to the next thing of what I'm going to be doing next in March, um, I looked at a video of what it's like to swim, not with dolphins this time, but with humpback whales. Mm -hmm. And it's interesting that it looks boring on the videos. It looks like there's this big old whale, and he's just sitting there doing nothing, and there's the snorkelers. But first of all, there's a big site, you know, so this is going to be one of those things that now I know it, you just probably have to do it. Because also, if they start singing their songs and everything, then it would just be a cool experience. And one in which I would then come back from and just not be able to really you know, articulate things very clear because um, there's a level of coolness that is hard to describe. I think that would be way cool. That's why I'm recommending that you take a trip to the Dominican Republic. And it's in March, and it's a great place to go for spring break in the nice, warm, balmy Caribbean. And then you can say, Captain, there be whales here. That's from Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home, mm -hmm. as a matter of fact. And I'm urging her to do a mind meld <laughs> with, uh, with the humpbacks. It's actually said that the song of a humpback whale is often 35 minutes long, okay, and is apparently a language, a communicative language to other whales that can be propagated over hundreds or a thousand kilometers, which is very, very fascinating. These cetaceans are, in my mind, extremely intelligent creatures. And what is really fascinating, go back and watch Star Trek IV, The Voyage Home. Download it, get the DVD, do whatever. And what is extremely interesting is that when the crew of the Enterprise returns on the commandeered Klingon ship towards Earth and they pick up the song of the humpback whale coming from the alien spaceship, okay, um, and a member of the a member of the crew m makes a comment to the effect of, "Well, why wouldn't why would an alien life form be trying to communicate with humans to find out if the aliens are extinct?" And Spock answers. What makes you think the aliens are trying to communicate with humans and that humans are the only life form on Earth? And he was speaking of the whales. Yeah, the only... And I just caught seen. that this time around. Mm -hmm. that, that there was a comment to the fact that, uh, you know, they could be an alien species. And anyway, I've always been fascinated, both with dolphins and whales. I find them incredibly intelligent, and I'm so glad that Laurie's going to have the chance to first have swam with dolphins and to now go swim with the humpbacks. So I think that is way cool, and I'm highly in favor of it. So. Yes, Mark's very supportive, and this is right around the time that he's going to be, he's planning to have weight loss surgery, but um, we'll just uh, structure that so that um, I can slip in the trip, and then he can you know, have that, and then, and then that'll be a whole journey in itself um, after that point. But um, so.
So, so yes, we have all kinds of topics to talk about. To mm -hmm. get so mm -hmm. I have started on also another journey, which is a weight loss journey. I am extremely overweight. I'm in excess of 400 pounds. And I'm planning to have gastric bypass surgery, um, which will also uh, address, you know, some other chronic diseases that I have. And so I hope it'll work out. And I hope that um, you'll all tune into the channel and join me on that journey of my recovery of my health. So, so we will get into that too. But for the time being, I just wanted to let everybody know that uh, Laurie's going to be going on another cetacean uh, swimming Cetac adventure. Cetacean Nation. That's what wow. they call it. So this will be with the same group that I went with the dolphins. So it will be the um, structured around meditations with uh, Bashar. At least I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Bashar. Um, communications mm -hmm. and uh, and that was that was um, that was really worthwhile to have those meditations that were structured for each day mm -hmm. and um, I it, it's it's funny when well okay there was just a um, a promotional video made from my particular dolphin trip um, and it has a couple of little images of me in there and then there's a um just a portion right at the end where Bashar is saying wave after wave after wave well that came from one of the meditations and it's funny how your memory can trigger something because also when I was looking at um some of the pictures that were posted by other members or even by our boat they posted a lot of the pictures um there was one picture that looked like it was a dolphin that had just come in from a from a dive, like from a out of the water and in. And just looking at that picture, I instantaneously felt the temperature of the ocean. That kind of initial woo, you know, that initial chill. But I was thinking, I don't know, is that one of the reasons why the dolphins jump? out you know of the water so they can sort of get a little chill or something jumping in i there's even like some scientific reasons why they might do that they might be trying to flipping flipping off parasites things like this but um it, do, it just appears that they have fun in fact sometimes i wonder like the the captives um in like sea world are they really are they really having a bad time of it because they don't look it you know, they look like they're having fun. Even captives appear to me like they're having a blast. Yeah, and so there's other places to also have dolphin experiences. Now, I still would much prefer the, you know, ocean wild experiences, but there's some places in Florida that it's a slightly more of a semi-captive situation. But um, in some of those, they're bottlenose dolphins, and the descriptions are like, you'll get your own dolphin. And I'm thinking, how in the world can that take place? I mean, they talk about the dolphins as though they're employees. Like, you know, what shift is, is Flipper gonna be on or, or something? But it's like, the dolphins have to be complying with that. You know, I, you know, I mean, the trainers can, you know, I guess have their way and their, you know, their bribery with fish, but still, if the, I mean, you wouldn't be able to teach, uh, squirrel you know to do something like that so i mean the dolphins have to be compliant and and just want to do it i would say mm -hmm. and then of course there's all sorts of stories that you hear about dolphins with um um uh our uh his daughter's boyfriend's his daughter's boyfriend had a story about being on a rubber boat and seeing a dolphin circling it and kept doing it for a while until it sort of gave a gesture and went away. And that matched up with another story I heard on Vloggerheads about a little capsized little small sailboat and a dolphin circling and stuff. And it just seems like dolphins, you know, check out humans in trouble, kind of hang out or maybe help get sharks away. 
And anyway, you know, I've heard all these stories before, but never uh, had the idea of swimming with them. Um, but it's, uh, it's a cool thing to do. And, uh, well, it sounds like your humpback whale trip will be a great uh, addition mm -hmm. to your dolphin swim in Kona, Hawaii. Yep. You're becoming a, a regular tropical babe. <laughs> okay. Nature woman, a person of the new age. So mm -hmm. isn't it so cool? I've got my very own little new age mm -hmm. goddess here. Okay. You know, whatever. So anyway, I'm tired, folks, because I'm a grandfather and I went to a christening today. And so I've been out at an affair, um, you know, with my son, my daughter-in-law, and my granddaughter, and all sorts of friends and family. Um, had a great time. And now I think I'm going to get ready to settle in for a, a peaceful and quiet Saturday evening. So I'm out of here. Talk to you tomorrow, and good night. Okay, good night.